I think the campus is really what won me over. It's so beautiful here. Kenyon is one of the few places that I would say reminds me of Camelot. And I just could not get over how beautiful this place was. When I got on campus and I spent time in class, talked to faculty, met the students, it just clicked. I'm standing there in front of this, this gothic looking building in the middle of a small town in Ohio and it's like, wow. You come here and it's sort of your four years of Walden. My name is Kate Armstrong Ross and I'm from North Hollywood, California. I don't think that anyone can make a judgment about Kenyon until they've set foot on campus to see how alive it is. What's up, guys? Attention, because, comme toujours, si c'est un verbe. It's all open, it's all opportunity, it's all activity. It's a community we will tell you this. that you don't get when you go to a big city school where you step onto the sidewalk and you're one of millions rather than one of a few hundred. I think, for me at least, the thing that sets Kenyon apart as an educational experience really is the idea of it as a small intellectual community. When the students learn dedication, uh, when they learn uh, intellectual curiosity and they are led in that path, wonderful things happen. We fall down, but we get up. For a saint is just a saint who fell down and got up. No, I was in the sky. And the choir sings. We fall down, but we get up. We fall down, we get up. What country friend is this? This is Illyria lady. The thing that I find special about Kenyon is that the students are genuinely interested in process and learning and discovery. I studied abroad for my anthropology major. Basically, I went to Jaipur, India, which is like right here in India. And um, <laughs> I was able to see some of the plants in their natural habitats. and. Um, as I was going through a park, I was like, hey, there's a bromeliad, a leopard bromeliad. First time I had one of Naomi's omelets, I got my first day. <laughs> Thank you, Naomi. This is the men's cross country team. They're really fast and really good. <laughs> all of a sudden, we're all thrown on this hilltop and then we have to make an experience out of it is one thing that makes Kenyon amazing because we're all here for the same sort of success in academia, socially, and some athletically. And to do these two things. With exams and lots of intense class experiences, it's great to be able to just go out and let it off for you. Just go run with it. Kenyan students are genuinely concerned about exploring ideas, about seeking to understand what people are saying. So full of shapes is fancy that it alone is high fantastical. Sure, if anybody have questions. My job as a professor isn't to stand up in the front of a room and to lecture at students. My job is to stimulate their own thoughts. Now, let's go through the poem again in those terms. <laughs> I don't know if this is some liberal arts professor trick, but he'll ask you a question like when we're reading Midsummer Night's Dream. So guys, does love truly exist? And we're all like, hmm. And then we all think. And then there's silence. Why is that? And the silence resounds. And then someone offers something. And then he snatches that up. And then someone offers something else. And then we've built this whole web of conversation that sometimes we don't always even come to a conclusion. But it doesn't matter because we've thought so much. And it's about the, the process of thinking and expressing in his class. A lot of kids are involved in a lot of different things. You know, I have a lot of friends who you know, are really into theater. Guys on the team who are into, into some of the acapella groups on campus and stuff. You know, it's, it's a diverse approach to uh, 
to extracurriculars, certainly, and, and all of them are integrated into, into the you know, academic approach as well. So, one sec. I am a history major and a religious studies minor. I will be a concentration in law and society. I don't think that you can live in such a small community without being open-minded. So, to law school, you want to talk about? I think I want to do health law. Wherever I go to law school is going to have a hard competition because I'm not sure if any place can just cut it like Kenyon did, but hey, we'll see. When someone says Kenyon College, you're thinking more of the humanities and English, but the science program is great here. Our approach to teaching science at Kenyon is to get students to do science as early as possible. Because it's a differential equation. So they're really doing projects that we don't necessarily know the answers to, and so in that way they're learning what science is as a process. Well, I call it uh, dead white males, colon, from Babbitt to Rabbit. So it starts with Sinclair Lewis and it ends with John Upside. We have an unusually large English department and an almost singular tradition in writing. Kenyon has a culture which celebrates writing. The Kenyon Review is run by, by David Lynn. And many of us get to read the manuscripts. If two people reject it, then it's rejected, which is a lot of responsibility. Food for Thought is a project to build a sustainable local market. I'm John Stein. I'm a senior from uh, New York City. I have an independent study <laughs> where I go to a sheep farm. I learn to herd the sheep and I learn about sustaining the farm. It is as such partly a project that's designed to enhance our surrounding community, to sustain family farming, to preserve rural character. I wanted to be able to walk away from college and know that I had taken advantage of, of every opportunity I had here. I'm doing things I never thought I could do. In. I'm covered in stuff. Move. Everyone, second score, first measure. I didn't see this as a place which manufactured a particular kind of person. You can take an English class and then go straight to lab and do some work, or you take a philosophy class and you go straight to work. One of the exciting things is, is working with students who not only want to become physicians or psychologists or lawyers or teachers, they want to become these things because it's part of a value system they have, simultaneously developing themselves, giving of themselves and, and from themselves when it comes to their own lives as well as to the lives of others. I feel like I've been given the ability to craft a life for myself here. Everyone. Kenyon just becomes your home. I'm really happy that I came to a school like this where I can be someone. Once we get inside of a classroom, there's no telling where we can end up. I tell my students that Kenyon is almost the pastoral ideal, where the distractions of the world fall away, and where what you have, in effect, is a small place, a safe place to think big thoughts. And I think that's very much the model of what Kenyon is. I can work that out.